The business started years ago building agricultural reservoirs, extracting mineral out of the ground and supplying it to the industry as a raw product. SRC, as you see it today, was born of about 10 years ago, where we got permission for our first quarry at Colchester. We've gone on to develop four more quarries and three new recycling depots. And since then, we've invested in a new one here at Martell's, bespoke design for non-AS soils, which runs in conjunction with our non-AS landfill here. So we're creating a one-stop shop, a circular economy. Every six months, the business is increasing in the volumes it's moving. Um, so it's not sustainable for us to just keep selling sands and gravels. London's a very, very busy marketplace. There's a lack of void. Uh, landfills and restoration projects are not readily available. So where we've been able to have these opportunities for restoration schemes, we've, we've tended to focus it very much on the recycling. But we see recycling as a very important part of the business. But it's the right thing to be doing for the, the environment. And we're diverting somewhere in the region of about 800,000 tonnes a year from landfill. As mineral depletes in the ground, we've got to be diverse and recycling is the way forward. So instead of it going to landfill, get a recycled ag and send it back out is more sustainable than digging it out of the ground and washing it and, and selling it on. Consistency of material is one of the biggest challenges. The stuff coming in is never the same. So it's about identifying material and how it's going to behave as it goes through the process. A lot of our material is coming from either our internal demolition business, earthworks business, it's coming from main civils projects. A lot of it's coming from London. A lot of historic made ground in London. Um, hence the reason this plant here is, on, is specified for non-has, uh, to deal with water treatment. There's all elements of contamination. If we can reclaim 80% of what should be going into the hole, back out to a market that is already lacking in void space, and not only that, it's taking the onus and the priority off primary sands and gravels. You shouldn't be putting primary sands and stones into the ground for drainage, uh, you know, when it's a finite resource. Sand and gravel is very hard to get hold of. It's the planning, the planning process takes years. And we can sell lots of volume without roaring through our sand and gravel reserves. Put it into the uh, prefab concrete blocks. We make concrete Lego blocks, retaining structures. Uh, the recycled aggregate is going into those. And we've also started doing some paving, so well compacted concrete pavements. SRC is one of our largest customers in the UK market. We've partnered with them over a number of projects, eight in total, and we've worked through them from start to finish in co-creating their plants, seeing it right through to delivery and then aftercare. The CDE guys, the install team will come in, plant turns up, modular, it's put together and everything's explained as you go. Turnkey operation, they make it easy for us. The more time we spend with our customer, the more our relationship grows, which is important because whenever we have a little sense, there's something that's needed. We streamline that service so that we can provide the best service and be one point of contact. Where CD sets itself apart from the others is we don't stop when the plant's commissioned. From there, our custom care team pick up and continue the work in partnership through the whole life of the plant. We start with CDE because these things are investment for life. These are a 10-year project. It's not, you're not buying a crusher, you're not buying a screen that you can turn on and off. These things have to be running every hour of the day, drip, 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 drip. We need a continuous, constant level of service. It's, it's not something we want to be thinking about. We've got great rapport with the parts department. If there's issues, we're, you know, we're straight on the case. We're looking at changes, modifications. We're getting parts out overnight. On certain projects, we might have to change specification for certain jobs, and CD are there to help us. We've been working together a long time, and over those years, both businesses have grown together and developed. Both family-owned businesses and both are focused on moving towards sustainable resources for the future. There's continuity between our side and CDE's side. 
we've invested in CDE and likewise CDE invested in us. We're getting pretty good at it after eight. <laughs> we learn every time, each one gets better and better, quicker and quicker. Ten years ago there was only five of us, we're now up to 250. And I don't think it'll stop there, you know, the business has got great legs, it's got great appetite to grow further. I think there's a, there's a good journey ahead.